Hey, this is Notzer, and today we're taking a look at the Tier 8 German battleship Bismarck. We are on the map Haven. The build is on the screen. It is a tank build. I have sort of abandoned my secondary routes because there is just too many aircraft carriers keeping me spotted. So I have to take, you know, fire prevention, manual AA, superintendent, basics of survivor building. Basically, every single skill that I could equip for tankiness mitigation. And even with all these skills, probably not going to hold them. Now, the Bismarck was stuck. The rudder was forced stuck 78 years ago yesterday, and hopefully we don't have a reenactment of that moment. I'm really trying to make this work, but just like all of you, aircraft carriers are just so fun. So much fun. And uh, hopefully we can do our part. And the first salvo towards the enemy Bismarck, not bad. 9,000 damage. I can work with that accuracy. I can definitely work with that accuracy. There is a possible enemy DD that his last known position, he was behind that giant island. I am just trying to get free damage on a target that needs to return back. Oh, by the way, for those who aren't familiar, this is the camo that you earn through Hunt the Bismarck event. I think you can still earn it by getting some of those containers from the armory. It's really cool. It's damaged and it's weathered. It's, it's supposed to look like what the ship would have potentially looked like before it went down. How accurate that actually is, I don't really care because I think it looks cool. And I didn't want to continue chasing down ships. I needed to turn back towards the center. We are not really contributing as much as we need to. And part of the reason why the Bismarck is ineffective is staying back at range. And I need to try and move the tempo forward so that I can get a better shot on the enemy. While all this is going on, of course the enemy aircraft carrier on cooldown is sending their squadrons towards me and my teammates. And I'm just trying to face my AA, my priority sector, towards the enemy aircraft carrier. We're also trying to get a little cheeky shot there on the Pensacola. And we get his Citadel. That's pretty good. But we've lost the only DD... Yes, the only DD that existed on my team. So this is going to be really bad. This is an awful situation. We really need to try and get the Fubuki dead. And the Fubuki chooses to use the smoke from the aircraft carrier. Was keeping us spotted. Ooh, someone landed a big shot. That was the signal for me to try and take a shot. So we're going to lean him in a direction of escape. Hoping that he'll over-rotate right into my shells, which he doesn't. But note, there's a couple enemy ships that have moved to the center of the map, and they're going to try and move forward. I am going to attempt to try and stall this out and get some kills on them. While all that's going on, the enemy aircraft carrier, the Ranger, has scrambled his dive bombs, and I know exactly where the Ranger's going. He's already attacked me twice. He's going to attack me a third time. He's just trying to line up a perfect angle against my ship. And I'm just trying my best to limit the incoming damage, both in the aircraft carrier, but also that Bismarck. And, you know, I've seen players, you know, angle tank, avoid the die bomber. I don't necessarily want to give up that much so that I take that much damage. And yes, that is one fire announcer. Why'd you put one fire out? I am overly aggressive. I think, good luck relighting a fire on me. I want to force you to try and relight a fire on me. I don't want the Bismarck to be rewarded. He's firing AP. It's going to be harder for him to relight a fire. Of course, we ricochet and do pin damage for not that much, but I need to try and angle back. The Bismarck is trying to gain ground so that he is in an advantage, and I am trying to gain ground so that I do not give him any advantage. I am trying to disengage and keep my angled back towards the enemy so that I can fire, but also mid-game. And we're doing a pretty good job. We've got about 50 seconds left before damage control is back up, hoping for no fires. And uh, we've already lost three friendly ships, the one DD, another battleship, and a cruiser. And, uh, but, you know, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. And <laughs> I was displaying my uh, displeasure with priority sector to the stream. Of course, enemy rangers on approach. We all know what the ranger wants to do. He's going to set us on fire. 
since it's going to set us on fire, we're going to return the favor to the Bismarck. And yeah, here we go. AA set up as, about as good as it can be. He does set us on the fire. But we do set a fire in return to the enemy. And the enemy Bismarck trying with his AP. My main battery is almost back up, which is pretty exciting. Maybe I could get a second fire on him. And then I have the option to put the fire out if I would like or let it burn. And oh, and there we go. We got a second fire on the Bismarck. Now, you know, he can he can do whatever he wants, but he's going to have to deal with the fire. And I'm very happy that he has to deal with that fire. I've dealt with mine, and we've done pretty good. He's shown a ton of side. I wish I had AP for this. I don't think there'll be an issue killing him, though. Just saying, you know. He does have a lot of fires, and it does end up killing him off. He does actually get inside my secondary range just at the very end. But we're able to get a second kill for the team. <sighs> We're so far behind at this point, I am so concerned that I'm not going to have enough time to come back in this game. I'm a Bismarck. I can't hit shots. I'm just praying. I'm rolling the dice, hoping that something sticks. We've got the Prince Idol Friedrich. He is visible. I did have AP loaded because I did preemptive reload it. Not the best AP, uh, the shell at this angle, but 7200, just fine. There are a couple cruisers that are in the other side of the center area. Uh, I think it's a Nuremberg and a Pensacola. I would love to broadside that Pensacola. There is a DD out there, but his last known position is on the western side. And we just see a brand new reveal of his location. So I am completely confident that there's not going to be any funny business going on. I'm not going to just sail out into a torpedo. I could potentially sail out into an enemy cruiser. And I would love to broadside these guys. Looks like the Graf Zeppelin has keyed off on the existence of my ship. And we're going to have to deal with this. So the joys of double CV. I am just going to try and mitigate it as best as I can with good angling. There is an island, though, that's in front of me. So I will have to decide on whether... Ooh, Nuremberg showing himself. I will have to decide on whether I go left or right of the island. And based on the enemy's attack torpedoes... I decide to go to the right of this island. We get a little bit of damage on the Nuremberg. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it is the Bismarck. Of course the accuracy is bad. It's the Bismarck. But we're going to try and follow up once again. Friendly is able to kill off the enemy. Nice. Good job, Baltimore. And, um, yeah, we're only down by two ships. It is absolutely terrible the situation we're in. We've got to try and bring it back. Cleveland able to burn one of the enemy ships down. And yeah, <laughs> I am so thrilled with my priority sector. It is just so fun. Just so much joy in those mouse clicks. Oh, so good. Uh, enemy Baltimore showing a broadside, aiming at the waterline, you know, just gauging how much he wants to sail forward. And we aim, honestly, pretty good. Unfortunately, it overpens, though. Ah, the location was great. Absolutely could have punished it. More incoming. Friendly Turpitz is dealing with it. Trying to keep my AA focused towards the enemy so I can at least contribute something to sinking the aircraft. Sinking the aircraft. Uh, shooting down the aircraft. Baltimore, still broadside. But I'm unable to punish because I didn't lead the target enough and we lose another ship. It's not looking good, right? This is very, very bad. The enemy has way more ships and seemingly way more advantages than what my team is left with. So it, it's, it's, it's going to be bad, but let's just aim really true on the Baltimore. Looks like he might overangle. He doesn't commit, so I just pulled the trigger. I was hoping that he would overangle, which he doesn't. And we're only able to get a little bit of chip damage, four or 5,000 damage. It's not bad, but we need to get the guy killed because we are that far behind. Now, thankfully, the friendly was able to kill off the only remaining enemy DD, so I don't have to consider it. Now, there is an enemy cruiser that's barely alive. Gosh, is he so barely alive. 
I'm trying to see if I can take a shot at him. And, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Because I could have probably killed off the Baltimore. And I don't get the kill! He's still alive. However, the Friendly Turpids does take the Baltimore out. And we are only down, only, down by 90 points. So what I feel like I can do is I can try and push into these cruisers. Obviously, you've got the Arian. There is another cruiser, the Pensacola, that's relatively damaged. And we got this North Carolina. Plus, on the other side of this is a Normandy, that enemy battleship. So I figure, keep my AA focused out, fire my guns on cooldown at any target that I can see, and preferably the cruiser, but I want to push forward into the enemy. I don't want to just sit back and allow them to beat me. Now we are getting volunteer aircraft from the from the aircraft carrier, which is great. Note, note that we've already contributed a significant amount against the enemy aircraft carrier, and they can still scramble squadrons. Now, it is only one squadron, one fighter group in that squadron, so I'm not really too worried about that, but I'm still taking a ton of damage. This was a moment in the game where I just did not expect it to be this ridiculous on the amount of enemy air ships and air that were going after me. But we do catch sight of the Pensacola. I do lead him in the direction. The North Carolina is on my right side. Do we get a Citadel? No, no Citadel. Still alive. Secondaries are going off on the enemy Normandy. Doesn't look like he's really busy with me. Do a quick check. The North Carolina. He is facing towards the friendly Cleveland. So only these two cruisers are defending the center. This is the play that I felt like I had to do. I don't want to do this, but if we can get some kills on these cruisers, it'll be a different game. And yeah, both sides really thrilled. Of course, barely alive. AA, fighter, everything. Just please, full speed ahead. Please let me live. Oh, these two guys, they're so low. I can't see the other cruiser though. So we're just gonna go one at a time. Go true, go, go smooth. Nice and clean aim, we should be fine. We do take out the target. We do take multiple torpedoes, flood, and fire. Two fly, two, two flyers. Two fires, a, a fire plus a flood, or two floods. That's when I, you should 100% use your damage control. In the other instances, it's a little cheeky. I must admit to use it on a single flood or a single fire, but you know, we're doing okay. Do catch sight. Hmm. That enemy aircraft carrier is pretty close. But that makes sense. And oh man, the other enemy aircraft carrier is very close. And look at this cruiser. Look at this little annoying little. Ah, he's so low. So incredibly low. And I have to deal with the aircraft. I, I can't stop him. I do have two extra heals. But I don't want to go too fast because the Normandy is on the other side. But I, I have to go. You know, it's you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If I stay stationary, the aircraft carrier die, uh, kills me. If I move forward, I'm going to be vulnerable to enemy on the other side of my ship. I, I don't have a choice. I've got to try and make a play. And oh man, the enemy comes out of hiding. North Carolina, down. Enemy cruiser. My secondaries are doing a good job, but I don't trust them. I'm going to fire off one set from my main battery, finish off the target, and uh, all we have left is the enemy Zeppelin and the enemy Ranger in this area. And I'm just, please leave me alone. Just let me survive. Uh, my damage control does come off a of cooldown. I am, I choose to use it because... I'm barely alive. There's no way I'll get a chance to activate the heal, but I just want to try and delay this action. I know I'm already dead. It's just who's going to kill me. And it's this dive bomber, by the way. Love the dive bomber. Did you see the angle that the dives, the, the bombs went? They went directly diagonal back behind them. He basically dropped at, you know, 0.5 or 0.7 seconds left on the drop indicator. However, Somehow my team turned a huge disadvantage into an advantage. We now have, you know, 80, 90 point advantage. I was able to contest long enough and show the friendlies that, oh yeah, those CVs are in that location. I think we're going to win this game. 
My team only has to survive for about two minutes. But the enemy, if they were to key off of the Cleveland, I think they could have easily killed this Cleveland. It's just whether they realize where the Cleveland is and work together. The aircraft carriers, they're, they're not going to die. Uh, this was a comment uh, in the stream, too. I, I love this comment. I love that aircraft carriers are basically invulnerable to each other. You need a second party, either a battleship, a cruiser, or even a lowly DD to contribute any significant damage that would be, you know, noticed by the carrier. So it's just, it's really, really wonderful how of the five ships left, only one of them is not a CV. And they're basically full life, all of them. Great. It's so great. I love feeling completely helpless in most cases trying to deal with them. And the Cleveland definitely have to deal with attack rockets. I'm completely shocked that it's taken them this long. But you know what? We contributed a significant amount of aircraft shot down. These squadrons are very, very unhealthy. They basically have one, one and a half attacks on the target. If they were a more healthy squadron setup, they probably could easily kill this guy. And at that point, probably a win for them. Because overall, their team has done a better job. We just had a, a convenient situation where the enemy just didn't have a chance. Uh, well, they'd had a chance, but they failed at shooting me and the teammates down fast enough before we had significant impact. So the Zeppelin recognizes, oh, I'm taking damage. I need to retreat. They've scrambled torpedo squadrons, which are terrible against cruisers that are actively maneuvering. He literally, all he has to do is actively maneuver. The only way we lose the game is if he just sails straight. But the Cleveland's doing a good job. Friendlies are trying to torpedo the enemies. Uh, they're not going to kill him before the game ends. I can guarantee that. But look, the Cleveland is still alive. Yes, we are going to win this game. And the Ryojo is going to try another attack. Get a little bit more damage before the game's over. And I, I am completely shocked that this game turned around the way it is. Because I'm a Bismarck. I've got pretty bad defense, if I'm honest. I'm vulnerable to AP, which the Graf Zeppelin has. And there were two aircraft carriers. But somehow, the team was able to use my, I don't know what, tankiness to our advantage. Three kills, 41 aircraft shot down, 2031 base XP. Mostly AP. Mostly just trying to survive. And it worked out team was able to win and i felt pretty happy about going against those cvs thanks for watching if you would like to check out more of my content you can click the most recent or the most relevant uploads you can also subscribe to my channel i do daily world warship videos first impressions how to's reviews news i stream at twitch.tv slash thank you for watching have a wonderful day and i'll catch you next time